Today's episode of What is the Free Phantom, today we are going to discuss about the art works. That's what we are doing today. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and let's get right into it. So, with the artworks, the furry community out there, whoever's uh, seen it in the furry community, there's a lot of a lot of artworks that's been put in the community, and there's a lot of details, there's a lot of colorations, and the the one of the coolest designs designs that that's in the furry community <clears throat> so like if you guys been watching my videos for a long time if you haven't really watched me that much but uh, you probably might see sometimes see me post uh, the top five furry art I usually post that is because sometimes I post that because I'm giving the artist the furry artist to make the art spread out to the world to the f spread out to the community so like they can look at that artwork and s think how much detail that has on it to makes it looks cute makes it looks makes it looks uh, interesting to look at makes it realistic sometimes there's a lot of artists out there that will make it like that there's also well I know some people out there in the world that doesn't really like AI AI printing artwork but there's some of that too in there and there's people would actually draw on paper as well they make artworks and drawings they make them from computers and everything to give their persona look out like for example like the persona like for example like if I was like say if I was a husky I'll draw myself as I'll draw a persona of a husky well I'm not actually but because I'm a wolf and I'll just find and just trying to come up with like ideas for coloring for coloration design uh, the texture to make it look nice and neat out there there's a lot of furry artists that she makes for sono bases they are <coughs> some of the coolest things that I've ever seen. In the next episode, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, because it's a big subject that I wanted to talk to you guys about because out there, there is a lot of artwork I've seen over the years. Over the four years, I've been in the community. But I think I've been, you guys know, I probably have been in it for a long time, but since then, well, every time when I scroll down on Twitter or Facebook sometimes, or when I'm in Discord servers, there is a lot of artwork artists on there that actually print, that actually post their art out there to the community to use to get a nice reaction because it could be cute could be could be beautiful could be stunning to look at could be something nice to look at which is basically stunning and not just that the free community gives its way for art for example for the fursuits they make the materials out there of that and make it into a art form like a sculpture and then it, and they make it for as an art piece 
you guys can tell me if I'm wrong in that, in that in the comments or not but it's they make their own personas and their own fursuits with their characters and it's the coolest thing out there and it's the most beautiful thing you see everywhere everywhere on Twitter sometimes I just like when, when I scroll down I see a, a nice AI printing artwork and sometimes I see some good drawings and over the last years I have seen uh, I think it was about five people has actually made fan art out of me which is one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me people actually had I think it's like about, about four or five or three I can't remember how much people have made fan art out of me, but yeah, I think it was five, yeah, five people. Because I, I, I can't really remember how much people actually have done that because um, it's been so long. But there is a lot of people that actually focused on their artworks to make it stunning. And every time when you look at that, or when you look at some, and sometimes the furry community, like, if you go to YouTube, there will be tutorials how you can draw a f your persona, or how to make, like, a wolf, how, you, how to draw a wolf, how to make your own of his design, how would you like to have it? There is a lot of some other things out there too with that. It's one of the coolest things that I see. Like if you just watch it and just wait until the end to see how hot there is. Well, just saying that, like out there. There is a lot of artists that are very professional, very high quality, professional grade artists out there that actually makes a lot of hard, hard, hard artworks in the community, and it's it's the truth. It is one of the most hardest artworks that you can ever come across. There is some art, there are some actual good ones I can show you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, it is the coolest thing I've seen by the far. And this that is it for this episode I just wanted to talk to you guys um, I just want to talk to you guys about this topic because it's a fascinating topic I hope you guys learn something about this topic but before I do go I do have something to tell you um, so I will be the, the VR chat uh, world showing stuff that, that I, I use, I'm starting to do um, with what is the furry fandom uh, I will be swapping that to a new series um, called VR chats furry worlds unknown furry worlds so basically I'll be discovering a lot of fur worlds that people don't even go into and I'll be discovering them so uh yeah that's all I have to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode and I'll catch you guys later